Hello, today I'm going to show you a very simple yet effective method of hiding uh, your data inside the video. Let me have some data like uh, So we are demonstrating video steganography here. We have a message. What we are going to do is first going to convert this message into ASCII format. Uh, if you add it with zero, it gets converted into ASCII format. We're going to open an MP4 video or uh, for that matter any uh, any uh, form of video that uh, you have with you. I'm going to open the video. Video is divided into frames. So I'll be reading a brief frame. In the first frame. And in the last pixel, I am going to store the length of my message. Why? Because when you look at this entire video, uh, when you are changing the pixel value, uh, you know nobody uh, cares really at the bottom right uh, value. It uh, is generally out of our eyesight. Then, in every subsequent frame, and in the last pixel of every subsequent frame, I am going to store one character uh, out. So every frame will hold one character. Once I do that, I'm going to write it back into a video file. However, the trick is to write it back into AVA, uncompressed AVI file. Why? Is because once you have manipulated the pixels to hold your data, you do not want those values to be changed. Once you use any compression technique like MP4 or MPEG, uh, whatever that's going to uh, change not only the number of frames but also the pixel values so do not want that so the trick over here is to keep the data into video files mm, i'll be running this it asks me for a video i'll give one video as input it first shows that it's performing the encoding so it opens and then every frame it uh, puts the data reads till the end and then it writes it back into a video it's done it's stored in a file called new video uh, called new file now what you could see is that new file is significantly higher in uh, size than the news one because it was in PG format and I've really stored it as uh, uncompressed format Yes, I will show you once more. So this is the video file which I have right back and there is the pixels that we are storing. However, it is quite difficult uh, for anybody to guess that there is any change or any pixel being hidden over here because we are using the corner. Now my next responsibility is to recover this. For recovering we have one more program called dstigano where I will be taking this avi file as input so I will take this avi file as input it is going to read it for decoding as you know that in the first frame I have the number of <coughs> characters so I will extract that first and till number of frames is less than number of character I am going to read out the data finally I am going to append the data and uh, because as you know that I have converted the data into number, I will again put it back into character format to recover my data. Once you are able to recover your data, your data will be present in a variable called A. And when you shoot up character of A, it is going to show you the data that you had embedded. So you could just uh, try out the simple video steganography of finding data into video hope you enjoyed the simple trick and the code thanks for watching